Hello and welcome to part three of Zeno Deku. Uh, forgive me for my voice. It's I am very tired, and as you can see, it's 11:20 p.m. Now let's get into it. Let's actually check in on Katsuki. Well. I can just tell you what he's done. He's been a piece of shit. You know, did the usual. And let's just say that there were multiple quirkless people in the school. But they were left relatively alone because Izumi was there. <sighs> And they were all good friends with her. But after she was well, hospitalized and became the monster of Japan, they were all systematically targeted by Bakugo and his goons and bullied to suicide. One of them was the child of a very, very well-known hero. Uh, someone we all know and love. And that would be Ryukyu. Why am I subjecting her to this? Because, well, she knew Izumi. And to Bakugo, that's the gravest sin you could ever commit. He systematically bullied and basically used them as his toy for anything that he wanted. Except for the boys. The boys are just straight bullied to suicide and used as punching bags. Now, currently, his quirk is at the same strength that it was in the beginning of the first war arc for the My Hero manga. Yeah, he's at that strength. He was using the quirkless people to get to that point. Now, so, uh, Ochako has been doing the same thing. Except she managed to smuggle actual sex toys onto campus and used them to our the quirkless women on her campus. She would systematically rape every single one of the quirkless people on her campus and bully them to suicide. She would then make the casts of the men's tools that she had raped and well used that to make new toys and let's just say some of them did get a bit big so yeah no she broke a lot of people same thing with Katsuki yeah, no, this series is not for children. So, yeah. Um, that's... That's all that's been happening for, well, two years. For those two people in particular. Why did I say that, you ask? Because Izumi has been collecting dirt on everyone that's like Katsuki. And so far, that, that was going to be wait. And so far, she's only found those two. Uh, Mineta. Rapist. Not even a bully, just rapist. He has raped every single woman in his school at least once, that is including teachers. And he makes sure that they do not tell or else 
he'll make he'll spin it off as if they wanted it and forced themselves on him because his parents are fake heroes they are not stationed in Hosu so they're still alive So, all that's happened. Now, ten months, uh, I still need someone to be the ninth user. Pick someone that you hate a lot. Or just come up with a random person. I need someone to be the ninth, and I'm not choosing Mirio. Um. I'm not giving it to Kotsky. It could be someone from 1B, it could be someone from 1A. It don't matter, because they're gonna die. So, pick someone who you preferably don't. Pick someone that you preferably don't like. It's not one of the three people that I mentioned. So, Jesus Christ, let's get on with what happened in the 10 months for Izumi, she uh, expanded the hive more, a good, no, the entirety of Hosu of the underground of Hosu. Like all the sewers and stuff, all the pipelines are controlled by her. And she uses the chest bursters, as she calls them. Because when they go for people, they tend to just go in through the mouth, and then exit through the chest, killing them instantly. <sighs> they just patrol the pipelines, make sure that no, like, parasitic organisms and that anything harmful gets, well, consumed. Because, yeah, they can do that. On top of that, they're, like, very small. And that's about it for ten months. Host is practically almost completely covered by Izumi's hive by the end of the ten months. Like, everyone knows of her and knows what she does and knows that they would be, it would be best for them to not disturb her. The police force of Hosu is, they answer at her beck and call. She made herself known to all of Japan. And a few people call her villain because of her looks. I mean, she does look kind of terrifying, and she is stupidly tall. Imagine seeing someone that looks like that and is, like, 14 feet tall. Yeah, no, I would not want to be on the bad end of the tail. <laughs> I would not want to be on the receiving end of her anything. Unless it's her hugs. Because, uh, yeah, no, she do get good hugs. Now, when she did reveal herself, Dante and Virgil the ships for the series, in case you forgot. Uh, saw, like, that. 
and they made their way to her. Oh, they made their way to Hosu. And as soon as they entered, they were being watched. And all the xenomorphs kind of knew who they were. So they summoned six because Izumi was resting at this point in time. And six came out and saw them. She would then usher them back to the central the center area of the hive, which just so happens to be the dead center of Hosu. And... Well... They are... kind of sad. Because... the woman that they loved was... suffering alone and they didn't know. Now, the entrance exam basically goes as canon, just remove Deku. And from the 1B substitute, I choose Ibarra. And no, I will not be making her the ninth holder of one for all. She's just the most powerful of 1B. And you cannot convince me otherwise. Now, continuing on. Uh, yeah, no. Izumi had, by the time of the entrance exam, taken over uh, a good half <sighs> of Hosu Ex for an external hive but they don't know about the underground hive by the time of uh, around first day she has completely overtaken Hosu. Any and all heroes there were pulled out. At least those that didn't side with her. No, those that didn't side with her. They were left alone. They were given enough money to support their families. They were her, they were personally paid by her, but not many received payment from the Queen, in that kind of way at least. Some people got a visit paid to them after some uh, really bad stuff like child abuse and rape. So yeah, that's about all oh, that happened for her at that point. Uh, uh, the heroes hunting her would be Fake Might, Endev Whore, Eraserhead, Midnight, uh, Miss Joke, Present Mike, and who do I want? Uh, snipe and the fakest of fakes hawks I really don't uh, of the male heroes hawks is really really high on the not so good hero list that man is a puppet of the commission and he won't be anything more even if he would, even if he wants to be. So, it's like... Yeah, no, 
it's like five true heroes to very few others. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm a I'm a get to bed. Like, comment what you thought. Subscribe if you want. Do what you will. I'm not in control of your life.